What's up, you guys? It's your man, Boy Jr., artist, producer, and engineer. We are here at my place at BJM Studios, and today I will be giving you the essentials to building your own home studio. Let's get to it. So what is a home studio? It's basically a place where you can create your own music at home without having to outsource and go rent an expensive studio outside. Now there's a few basic things that you will need in order to make this home studio come to life. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you're gonna need in your home studio is of course the computer. You have the choice between an Apple or a Windows. In my instance, I have the Apple iMac 27 inch 5K Retina display, 3.2 gigabytes, uh, with 24 gigabytes of RAM and the basic graphic card. Now, it all depends again on your budget. Do you want a Windows computer or do you want an Apple computer? Of course, the Apple computers are a little more expensive, but in the long run, they are more efficient than a Windows computer. I'm speaking from personal experience. So if you do decide to go with an Apple computer, you do limit yourself to a certain amount of products. There's only certain softwares that work with Windows and certain softwares that only work with Apple. So if you decide to get an Apple computer, for example, you can buy the Logic Pro X, which is the newest software available on the App Store. It goes for only $199. It's not expensive at all, and it does come with built-in sounds already, which you can use to create, to start creating music. So if you do get an Apple computer, you can get Logic Pro X for only $199 and start creating your own music. If you wanna go with the more standard of Pro Tools, you have the choice of going between an Apple or a Windows computer because it does work on both platforms. So again, do a little bit of research on what software you wanna use, which will give you the decision on what computer you wanna get. So the third thing that you need to get for your studio are speakers. Now there are different kinds of speakers that range from $100 to thousands of dollars it all depends on your budget and how much you are willing to spend on these speakers so in my studio i have the yamaha hs 80 m's studio monitors they go for 350 dollars a piece but the quality is insane i am not going to go into the details of the speakers but if you are really interested in these make sure you do some research and decide on how much money you want to spend on these speakers again these are the yamaha hs 80 m's and the quality is insane for the price so if you do have the money for them, I recommend you do look into these speakers and see if this is something that will work for you. Along with my Yamaha HS80M speakers, I do have the Yamaha 8-inch sub. Now, this is not something that is required, but it does give you a lot more of those lower frequencies, so it's something that I purchased being that I produce a lot of hip-hop music. I also have the Samsung Media One 5A's Active Studio Monitors, which were the first speakers that I actually purchased, but um, they've been around for a, a very, very long time, and I had to definitely upgrade to something better, which is the Yamaha HS 80 Amps. So um, it all depends, again, on your price and what you want to get. So do a little bit of research and decide what speakers you want to get. But speakers, of course, is something that you do need in order um, to be able to hear what, what you're producing. So speakers are very important. So the next thing you need to get is a MIDI controller. What is a MIDI controller? It's basically a keyboard in which allows you to control um, your sounds through your digital audio workstation so you can play your sounds and be able to record. So. I have the Elisa's V49. It comes with 49 semi-weighted keys. It comes with eight pads and faders on top, which you can assign to different channels or uh, different parameters on your EQs or compression. That's all assignable through the digital audio workstation. So if you're interested in getting the Elisa's V49, again, do a little bit more research into that. I also have the Akai MPK 49, um, which again is another keyboard with 49 semi-weighted keys. This one comes with 12 pads and also has the faders and the um, adjustable knobs up top, which you can program to your channels as well. The Akai MPK 49 that I have is an older model. Um, there is a newer model out now. So if it's something you are interested in, go and do a little bit of more research on that. Again, it all depends on what kind of music you want to create. If you really 
all about the pads and you like to create hip hop music, either one of the keyboards will definitely work for you as they do have the pads um, in the semi-weighted keys. So do a little bit of research more into these uh, keyboards and see what works for you. The next thing you need to get is an audio interface. So what is an audio interface? It's basically something that allows you to record sound into your uh, computer. So if you are deciding to record yourself, for example, you are an artist and you like to sing or rap or whatever it is you want to do or just record live instrumentation, you will need an audio interface to be able to transport your audio into your computer. So audio interfaces are very important if that's what you want to do. Um, on top of your beats. So the interface that I have is a Focusrite Forte audio interface. It comes with two in and two out, so you can connect up to two sound sources on it and come out of two sound sources, your left and your right of your speakers. So it's a touchscreen interface, which allows you to basically touch on the interface and fix your parameters like that. And it has one big giant wheel, which allows you to switch between one side or the other. It's very convenient, it's very portable. You can take it with you wherever you want if you are going to be traveling and making music on the run so definitely look into this interface if it's something that works for you so of course if you want to record any type of vocals or instrumentation you are going to need a microphone to go along with your interface so the microphone that i have at my home studio is the blue bluebird condenser microphone if you don't know what a condenser microphone is make sure you go and look that up it's basically a microphone that requires phantom power 48 volts of phantom power and is a more specific for studio use than live shows there are dynamic microphones for that so i have the blue bluebird a microphone again it's not expensive at all it's only 299 and the quality of it gets the job done so uh, get yourself a microphone for studio purposes you do need a condenser microphone so make sure you go and do your research and get the microphone that you do um like if you like the blue uh bluebird that i have which i just looked at right now uh make sure you go and pick that up at sam ash or at amazon down below so there you have it these are the basic essentials that you need for your home studio if you want any more information please make sure you drop a comment down below anything that i might have missed that you are more interested in make sure you send a comment down below um, or you email me at the email down below and i can definitely help you guys out there are links down below in the description to where you can pick up all of these products i am affiliated with amazon and sam ash the music store so if you are definitely looking into picking up one of these products now please use the links down below as i am affiliated with them and i do get a commission for certain sales so again if you are looking to get some of these products click the links down below and uh, pick something up i would greatly appreciate that and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this hit that like button if you enjoyed this drop a comment down below with any feedback anything is greatly appreciated and also don't forget to share this video if you have other people that might be interested in learning off of this or might need a little bit more help in guiding them to building their own home studio hopefully this is helpful to you and to other people so hit that share button if you got some buddies that are interested and as always man thank you so much for the love i appreciate it and uh, we'll be coming out with videos every week so don't forget to hit the notification button as well so you get the update when the music comes out once again i go by the name of boy jr and you are tuned in to bjam studios thank you